Welcome everyone to another episode of the Pierce Brothers. Today we're going to be talking about the Kimber KDS-9C. So, a, uh, you still filming? This is a uh, compact size double stack 1911 that Kimber designed for EDC kind of things. So it has a 15 round mag. They said they'd be coming out with an 18 round mag, but they have not done so yet. Um, this came out almost a year ago, I think now. Well-ish. Came out sometime mid-summer last year, I think July, August. Um, they said the 18 round mag would be coming out soon, but it has not arrived yet. You see it's got a thumb safety, so it's a 1911 style double stack gun. Um, it is optics cut, so you can remove this plate and they sell optics plate for it, but they've been pretty much sold out since they came out, so I don't have one yet. Um, it's got a fiber optic front sight and then an adjustable rear sight. Came with this nice fancy soft case. Um, you can fit two handguns inside and then uh, it did come with some tools for adjusting the sights and taking the plate off and some extra fiber optics. And then in this pouch you've got slots for magazines. So we've got a few mags here we're gonna put through it. Um, but so far we've got right around um, 900-ish rounds through it. So today we'll go over that thousand round mark. Um, we have not tested hollow points yet, except for one, I tested a Sig Sauer 124 grain hollow point. So today we're going to test two other kinds of hollow points and see how it functions. So far we've only had one malfunction total and it was a failure to feed. So I just had to bump the slide forward. So not really much of a malfunction, but still a malfunction. So uh, we'll go ahead and put these other mags through it and then we'll test the hollow points. I've also got my uh, Wheeler trigger tester for poundage. Uh, I think Kimber advertises that these come with a three to four pound trigger or four to five, I don't know, it was, they said four pound, but I think this one breaks, we'll just go ahead and test it now. Um, this one breaks pretty consistently at right around or less than three. So right at 3.2, the first one, let's do it again. So right at three on that one. So it's got a really good trigger on it. I've been really impressed with the trigger. Um, right at three again. So yeah, pretty awesome trigger. So let's go ahead and put some more mags through it and then we will uh, test some hollow points. So first we'll put two mags of this 9mm Winchester 147 grain hollow point through it and we'll see how it does. So no, fun no malfunctions there as I expected since this gun's been very reliable thus far. So now we'll move on and we'll do some uh, Federal 124 grain punch. We're gonna test these, we'll do two mags as well and we'll see how she does. No 
malfunctions again. <laughs> Tried to do a little rapid fire that time. <laughs> uh, something of note with this gun. So Kimber on their social media platforms just announced that they've got, well, they didn't say that it's this gun, but they've got another version of this gun. They'll probably announce at SHOT Show. Um, looks like it's a more full-size version with the rail, so watch for that. Um, so with the ammo we put through this, we've put probably seven or eight different kinds of ball ammo through it. Um, all 124 grain and a little bit of 115 grain, but we did brands from Federal, Blazer, PPU, Six Sour, um, Winchester, and a couple of others I can't think of off the top of my head. <laughs> so we tested a variety of ammo and now three different hollow points total and have had only that one malfunction that was a failure to feed. So uh, pretty impressed with the gun overall so far. So that's a thousand rounds now that we've put through it. Um, if you want an awesome EDC option in a 1911 style gun, this is a great choice. It is size wise, it's very comparable to a, uh, to a Glock 19. It's almost the exact same size. So for comparison, it is a little thinner though in your slide and your rail area. So you get a little more comfort when you do carry it. The grip is also a little bit more comfortable than a Glock, being that Glocks feel like a brick. So, <laughs> um, but it's a really comfortable, easy gun to shoot. The holster I've got here is from uh, Tier 1 Concealed. It's just for a 1911 style holster. Um, it didn't fit on the top part, the sweat guard that came up, so I cut the sweat guard off. But uh, it fits great other than that. Kimber does have a lot of options on their website for holsters for it. Um, magazines are 15 rounders and they're about 40 to 45 dollars on Kimber's website or 50 49 I think they're like 50 bucks but uh, I bought a bunch more on sale so Kimber does pretty often like sales so they're about 30 or to 35 bucks when they're on sale so watch for sales if you do have one or if you want to get one the mags are actually pretty affordable when they're on sale they did announce an 18 round mag, but that has not come out yet. So I'm assuming that'll come out with the newer gun they're dropping this year. Um, they just said coming soon. So whatever that means, who knows how, so how soon soon actually is. But uh, overall, it's an awesome gun. If you want a good concealed carry 1911 double stack gun, this is a great choice. I highly recommend it. Um, like I said, it's been flawless. It's pretty lightweight. I, I'll put the weight um, down in the description. So check down there and then, uh, yeah, great gun, great choice for EDC. A great choice just in general for a double stack 1911 style. If you love 1911s like I do, then uh, this is a great choice. And uh, thank you for watching this episode of the Pierce Brothers. As always, stay tuned for more uh, product and whatever reviews coming out. Um, if there's something you want to see us do a video on in the future, throw a comment down below and let us know. And we'll see you next time.